hello everyone i welcome you all once again to my youtube channel prabhavi education hub and in this video we are going to learn about gold investment scheme uh, this is a latest scheme launched by uh, government of india in 2015 so we will learn the final points of it before this i would say if you are not uh, subscribed to the channel please go to the channel page and subscribe and uh, <clears throat> also watch the previous videos because this is indian economy series and uh, all the videos are very informative and they are actually helpful for uh, many viewers they are commenting that uh, sir your classes are very uh, helpful so please watch those videos also and uh, please also press that bell icon so that you can get the uh, notification at the right time so as usual we learn point wise so this is chapter uh, 12.27 of Indian economy series okay and how you have to study I have already written on my about uh, section of my channel uh, if you have to uh, learn about that how you have to study these classes you have to read that uh, actually you have to first uh, uh, listen to the lecture and at the last you have to take the screenshot of this uh, PPT like uh, this will be the format you have to take a screenshot of this okay so as usual we will learn point wise so first point is the sovereign gold bond and gold monetization scheme launched in november 2015 here november 2015 is the time when it was launched so uh, two gold investment schemes sovereign gold bond and gold monetization scheme was launched in November 2015 and the purpose was very clear that you know that Indian people are very uh, you know crazy for gold they want jewelry they always try to purchase jewelry sometimes on the occasion of festivals sometime on uh, Diwali sometime on or any occasion uh, before marriage of someone so there is a craze for buying gold in our country and for that purpose uh, two sovereign gold bonds and uh, so gold monetization scheme was launched in November 2015 so let's see the next point so twin objective uh, first one is reducing the demand for physical gold okay and second one is shifting a part of gold imported every year for investment purpose into financial saving so whenever people buy golds they basically keep it at home and they do not use it use it as a financial resource for generating income from that so it will uh, basically the objective of this scheme gold investment scheme is twin and the second one is uh, shifting a part of gold imported every year for investment purpose into financial saving so there are two uh, investment schemes I will be telling you in detail uh, in the next points so first point is reducing the demand for physical gold so we are trying to reduce here the demand for physical gold next brief feature of sovereign gold bond the first one ok so here uh, we are discussing about sovereign gold bond the first one sovereign gold bond it is issued by RBI on behalf of government of India so this is a bond right and it is issued by RBI and RBI can only issue it on behalf of GOI government of India okay on behalf of government of India right and restricted to the resident Indian entities only so who can buy this uh, sovereign gold bond only the resident Indians can buy the sovereign gold bond not others no foreign person can buy or invest in sovereign gold bond so it is limited to the resident Indian entities only both in demet and uh, paper form so you can buy it in your demet account demet account if you don't know about demet account i will tell you it is a demetrialized account uh, where the things you can buy in demetrialized form not in the material form okay so demetrialized form uh, you can also use for buying uh, sovereign gold bond and uh, in paper form you can also buy it so there are two options available next point you will see next point is 2 grams it is basically limitation 
the minimum limitation is 2 gram you can minimum quantity you can buy is 2 gram and the max one is 500 gram beyond this you are not allowed to buy of gold per portion per fiscal year so fiscal year starts from march as you know uh, 1st april to 31st march is the fiscal year okay <coughs> so one person can buy only suppose it is fiscal year uh, 1st april to 31st april 21 so in this period you can buy only uh, minimum quantity 2 grams uh, below which you are not allowed to buy and uh, maximum is 500 gram per person per fiscal year okay next next is about rate of interest how much you are going to get if you are investing into uh, sovereign bonds sovereign gold bonds in fact so the rate which is basically it is a data of 2015 and 16 because this scheme was launched in 2015 only so the f for the year it was fixed uh, 2.75% per annum payable on half yearly basis means every 6 months you are going to get your interest whatever it is accumulated in your uh, gold bond so the ma annual uh, interest rate is 2.75 percent however you are going to be uh, it is basically payable on half yearly basis okay next point the tenure the tenure is eight years you can invest in gold bond for eight years with exit option you can also exit from the bond you can also exit from the bond by selling it uh, from fifth year onward okay so it is the tenure is eight years however you can exit from the bond by selling it after fifth year onward okay next was the next one is kyc norm kyc norm is applicable as applicable on the gold how you purchase okay so kyc norm is also applicable to this scheme sovereign gold bond scheme next point exemption from capital gain tax so whatever you gain from your investment or you because you have invested into sovereign gold bond so it is your capital and whatever gain you will get out of this sovereign gold bond it is exempted from capital gain tax what is capital gain tax capital gold uh, gain tax is for uh, is the tax beyond your earning uh, you, on your earning beyond one year suppose you have investment in uh, sovereign gold bond for uh, more than one year so whatever uh, the income or the gain you get from the capital it will be taxed under the capital gain tax however in this uh, scheme you are exempted if you are investing into this scheme sovereign gold bond the capital gain tax is not applied okay next next is about redemption when you can redeem your uh, bond so redemption uh, is made in uh, rupee value so you have purchased by paying some money in the rupee only and when you try to redeem it you will get the rupee amount only equi equivalent to the price of gold at the time of maturity <coughs> so at the time of maturity suppose your maturity is 8 years and uh, at the time is the gold rate is 30,000 per let it is an example only 30,000 per 10 gram that is called tola so if you have invested in the gold and uh, the current at, uh, at the time of maturity it is 30,000 and you invested at uh, when you invested you paid only for 10 gram you paid only suppose 20,000 so the earning will be 10,000 okay so you will be paid at the time of maturity on the price of gold at the time of maturity okay next next is the second scheme gold monetization scheme gold monetization scheme we are going to learn about so this is uh, first point is BIS Bureau of Indian uh, Standard Certified CPTC okay CPTC CPTC stands for collection purity testing centers this is basically for gold only there are many CPTC uh, in our country uh, 
they basically collect and they basically check the purity of gold so these are the centers collect the gold from the customer on behalf of bank okay next point quantity you can uh, you can deposit or you can you can invest in gold monetization scheme is 30 gram to max the minimum amount is 30 gram and the maximum is no limit you can uh, invest in any amount whatever amount you have in the form of gold you can invest into the gold monetization scheme but the minimum is 30 gram beyond which it is not allowed next next is gold saving account with designated bank so these are the accounts uh, when you try to invest into the gold monetization scheme first of all you have to open a gold saving account with the designated bank with, which is basically designated by RBI those who are interested with the task of taking gold as a saving so gold saving account you have to open first with the designated bank next you can invest into this uh, scheme for different tenors that is short term tenor that is standing stands for one to three years or you can also invest into this scheme for medium term five to seven years or the long term 12 to 15 years the interest rate is different for different tenors for uh, short term uh, here s stands for short term 2.25 percent and both uh, medium and long term uh, you will get interest rate at 2.5 percent okay next next is redemption how what is how what is the modus operandi of redeem redemption so you can redeem it into cash or gold both for short term and if you try to redeem it in your medium and long term deposit you have to take only cash because the cash is the only form you will be given if you have invested in the into the gold monetization scheme for medium and long term deposit okay next one is difference between the current borrowing cost for uh, the government and the interest rate paid by the government under the medium long term deposit will be credited to the gold reserve fund so there is a fund also gold reserve fund with the government of india so whatever the difference uh, is a, is between the current borrowing cost because you are investing into the gold monetization scheme and that money is basically going to the government uh, because uh, you are investing into the uh, gold monetization scheme and whatever the interest it paid the difference is to be deposited into the gold reserve fund okay so that's all from this video i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed then please give a like and also subscribe to the channel for uh, more videos and uh, do not forget to press uh, bell icon bye